Now there are two types of websites and the first are the ones that couldn't care less that their website feels like a roller coaster because they've jam packed every single interaction they can into their flow. Now the second are websites that actually look really beautiful, are so well designed and actually have a good user experience. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through five websites that do just that. Beautifully designed, aren't overwhelmed with interactions and actually have a good user experience. So the first website for your inspiration is linear.app. Upon landing on this website, you can already tell that it's beautifully designed, it's probably got a good user experience and it's just worth being mentioned. Take a look at the top header. You can see these little glistening stars to really showcase that there has been an update. Well, I'm assuming that there's been an update on the change log. And you can see the hovers really nice, the transitions are nice and slow, well paced. And you can see that it's heavily UI or user interface inspired. They don't overly do the interactions, they don't overly do the animations on the website. They're subtle, they're neat, well designed. As you scroll further down, you can see that it transitions and it really brings out what the product is all about. So Linear is a better way to build products. So it's somewhat of like a product uh, management tool or project management tool. It gives you a glimpse of what the product is about. They've maintained this real nice glistening star-like effect um, that goes around the borders of this design. It's just so well designed. I think the color scheme also makes it very immersive. It's just beautiful to look at. Take a look at the um, the logo dump over here. Well spaced, very consistent uh, logos. Uh, sizing, you can see that they all sort of line up with one another, even spacing very nicely designed. So you scroll further down, you can see that they've really maintained this nice starry galaxy-like theme throughout. They've also, instead of using a stock photo of a keyboard, they've, got, they've actually spent that time and effort to designing a custom keyboard that suits the overall brand. So it just goes to show the attention to detail is beyond this world. See what I did there? Galaxy, beyond this world, yeah. So here you can also see that uh, they've done the same with this. You can see that overall this website, it doesn't need to be overly uh, overwhelmed with interactions and um, animations and things flying in and out. It's just very subtle, very neat, and they're very quiet about it, but it's also very loud at the same time because the details are so well designed. You scroll further down, you've got a bit more of an interaction over here. But as you can see, a lot of this design inspiration is actually influenced by UI design. So let's scroll further down. Now I do like the, uh, the blurring of the content behind the header. Now this is actually pretty easy to do with CSS. So it's not something that um, only they can do. It's actually pretty simple. But this glass morphism style, I think is looking really, really nice. So Linear App is a nice inspiration if you're looking to design a new website for a product that you are currently working on. Let's take a look at a few other pages. There are definitely some nice designs on this. Let's maybe skip to the features. This is beautiful, the features page. It just captivated me, it drew me in. Take a look at those icons, so well designed, so consistent. Love the big shadow behind the logo as well, as well. Gives it a lot more depth. I think this is beautifully designed. Definitely well deserved to be featured in this uh, video. So definitely check out linear.app if you're looking for some inspiration. Now the second website is starlight.money. You can see once again, a very techy, galaxy-like inspired theme. I, I'm assuming it's based on Starlight, the, the name. I love the little interaction, the micro interaction of these icons pulsating and shooting these uh, stars or these shooting stars out. So the, obviously this product is around uh, the financial OS, so operating system for Web3 teams. Um, it's definitely around the finance system, fi a financial ecosystem for Web3, so for crypto and whatnot. Um, definitely love this. Very similar to Linear, they have a nice preview of the actual uh, screenshot of what the app looks like. You can see that subtle detail. As I'm hovering, 
there is a nice glow that actually lights up the grid but also when you put it behind this design you can see it actually lights up the design as well so i think there is a slight opacity on the background of this screen of this uh, design over here so you can see it's somewhat coming through and it has that glass morphism look so let's take a look further down you've got some logos let's take a look at here nice little interaction i like that and you can see that it really makes up when you put so much attention to the details Every icon, every illustration is consistent. The colors are consistent. The style is consistent. It just makes the entire design seem very premium. And the one thing is that they don't need to say anything. Purely just showcasing their work already increases the perceived value. Because if you think about it, they've already put so much effort in the design. So their product, you could just imagine, even if it's terrible, you probably think it's a great product because they've already put so much effort into it, right? So take a look further down, very consistent icons, nice little animations and micro interactions. So hover the cards, you can see that these light up as well. So there's always some level of interaction on all these little icons. So it's a little bit of a, a delightful moment when you hover over it. So this all lights up, just a, such a well-designed, so let's go ahead and take a look at, an, at another page. Let's see what else we can find. Let's go to their pricing page. Once again, beyond this world, Starlight built to empower. So they've also got some really nice storytelling um, copywriting built to empower, very short, very snappy, communicates what they're trying to communicate. So yeah, it looks pretty good. So if you want some more inspiration, starlight.money. Now the third one. Totally different theme, more fun, more charismatic, more punchy, more vibrant. So this one is a calendar, right? So this one is obviously around joyful productivity. It's around calendar, scheduling and whatnot. So the joyful productivity app, scheduled time for to-dos, events and contacts. Now, I love this intro. It really captivated me. It got my attention, which is a key thing that you want to do when you were designing these websites. Capture their uh, attention, get them engaged so they don't click off somewhere. Now, I do like the thing on the right-hand side. I was fairly curious about what these were, so I clicked it and they're testimonials or somewhat feedback that people had around their product, around how great it is, how well it is, how cool it is. So I think it's somewhat automated that it's pulling these through from Twitter, but it's great social proofing, um, great social validation on the right hand side. So if I move my mouse over to the right, it just scrolls um, through the testimonials or the tweets. Scrolling over here gives me a nice um, scroll of the content. So this, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's actually a little, they're using sound effects. So each time I'm uh, reaching a new, breakpoint here, it's actually clicking through. So they're utilizing subtle sound effects to maintain my engagement, I assume. So we take a look at this. Once again, beautifully designed. They, it's very UI focused, very UI influenced as well. And I like these types of websites because they generally do have a good UX because they're considering the UI and they're treating the website as if you were designing an application. There are websites out there that are being designed and it just feels like a movie. And I don't, and I feel like it's, not really something that you want to do because you're focusing on the wrong things. You're not focusing on the messaging or the content. You're really focusing on the transitions and making it feel like a animation that's done by Disney. <gasps> so let's continue going down. Very clear headlines, very clear uh, products that they're showcasing. So joyful productivity, wherever you are, they're just showcasing the product. Scroll further down. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, so they really just bring out what the features of the product. Now, obviously it doesn't really sell me. They're not really telling me what, what the pain points are, why this product would be better than others and how it would solve my pain points. They're really focusing on the features, which is somewhat of a copywriting 101, sort of ba very basic things that you should consider. But at the same time, the product is so well designed that it does intrigue me. It does 
capture my attention and it makes me curious about what do they have um, behind the sign up wall. So design can definitely play a good part in somewhat increasing that conversion rate. If you can really get creative about it and your copywriting isn't the best, the visuals, the way that it captivates the user can actually intrigue them so much that they want to sign up and try the platform. Now, the fourth website is sketch.com. Now, I do know for a fact that it's not the best product for UI designers as everyone's migrated over to Figma, but I would say that Sketch is a very well-designed product still, and their website has always been one of my favorites. I think I personally like the visual branding of sketch.com over Figma, um, but that's just a personal um, decision, right? That's a personal choice, very subjective. Now, the reason why I do like Sketch is because it's well designed, spacing is very consistent, the visual styles are very consistent as well, and everything just feels very polished. Every pixel just feels like it's been considered, and they've really taken the time to make sure everything is visually balanced, good copy, good layouts, good interactions, and they're not overdoing it either. All the interactions that they have, all the micro interactions, as you can see over here and here, and the videos and whatnot, it's got a purpose. It's actually showcasing to us that, oh, you can do, you can have multiple people in this, in Sketch, you can work together and whatnot. They're, they're not just flying in for the sake of flying in and for the sake of animations. So you can see, um, they're really pointing out the features. They always have some very strong visualization with some interactions to obviously capture our eye and maintain engagement. But there's always nice imagery that supports what they're saying with the content. So you scroll further down. Once again, um, spacing wise, so consistent and it's just really nice to look at. So I do like uh, Sketch's uh, design. I love these icons, beautiful. Now there's one little UI touch that I do love about UIs, um, about Sketch's uh, website. When you hover on the product, they have some sort of a what's new. So it goes to their updates and it just, this mini, this small timeline design that they've considered, it's just nice because instead of just having a list of words here, they've considered adding a nice little UI touch to showcase that this is a bit of a timeline. And this one I assume is the latest one and it goes to the previous one, previous one, and it sort of goes off in, into the timeline. I thought that's quite nice and hovering on these little items over here, it's just a nice visual touch. You don't have to do too much. You, it doesn't have to be too overwhelming, but they've considered it and it's just something I really like. Pixelbin.io. Now this one is unleash the full potential of your digital assets. So I assume it's a web three product. I don't actually know, but I'm assuming digital assets is around my crypto and whatnot, but let's take a look. So as you can see, very immersive, full screen interactions, not too overwhelming, very subtle, draws me into the actual website. Love that. As you can see, I can I can recognize a few of these uh, icons. That's Google Drive. I'm not too sure what these ones are, but my digital assets might not be crypto. This might be Google Drive. And I think that looks familiar. I can't figure out what that is, but it might be my online files. So you can probably connect all your repositories to this pixel bin and it brings all your files together. I'm assuming to keep it safe, to keep it all together. Um, but you can see really nice type of transitions, visual design that supports what they're saying. Very simple, nothing too overwhelming, but I think the consistency of the visual design is just really, really nice for this uh, website. And it's very consistent. Nothing is out of the ordinary, nice use of uh, subtle interactions once again. And yeah, I love, these interactions over here doesn't have to be really overwhelming, doesn't have to be wild, but it just helps further communicate and strengthen the idea that they're trying to communicate. So let's go down. Once again, this is a beautiful website. I thought this is a nice one to showcase. And let's maybe go and click into another page. We have simple products. 
Yeah, so it's a very simple website, but I think why I like it is it's immersive, it's consistent, subtle interactions, and I think it's just a little bit futuristic, really is consistent with that vibe. So hopefully you enjoyed these five websites. I genuinely feel like these five websites are a great source of inspiration. If you are designing a website for a product that you are currently working on or any type of product, to be honest, because I genuinely don't think that we need to overdo those interactions and animations. They need to, they should be subtle and we should always be considering the overarching UX of what we are trying to convey on our websites. Because in the end, customers and viewers are not coming to our website to just watch an animation. They're actually here to find information and potentially pay for a product that we are trying to promote. So. Hopefully you liked this video. If you like this video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe for the diehard fans, and I will see you in another video very soon.